guys, it's Morgan from CKC, and today we are going to do kind of just a fun video where we're going to put some Pinterest pins um, that are sewing related um, to the test and kind of see how well they do. So I guess it's a Pinterest test. Um, I'm sure a couple or a lot of you guys saw the other day when I uh, posted a picture of Ayla's Maggie um, that I was ironing and ended up getting like all sorts of iron residue on it. Um, so we are going to just do a couple of tests to try and find a way to clean the iron. Um, the first one that I saw that kind of intrigued me was using just a fabric softener dryer sheet. Um, so we've got our iron. The water well is completely empty, which by the way, did not know this. Apparently you're only supposed to use distilled water in your iron. You know, fun fact for you. Um, and it is on a low setting at the moment. So the concept of this pin was to iron the dryer sheet on one paper towel and then move it over to just a plain clean paper towel and you repeat it back and forth for a little bit until it cleans the iron. So we're just going to give that a try um, and see if we can get all this gunk off this iron. I'm not seeing anything coming off of the iron on either paper towel other than it smells good. Um, so we might have to pull out the big guns. Yeah, let's give that a tr let's give this other one a try. Um, pin that we saw was just using table salt um, and ironing the tape, ironing the actual salt, um, and letting that kind of scrub the iron while it's warm. Um, might have put a little too much, but we shall see. So, I would say that the dryer sheet was a complete fail. So. Now I'm just disappointed in Pinterest. Okay, I'm going to call this one also a fail. Um, there was another option, but I didn't pull out the stuff to do it. So, um, I guess we're going to stop the video for a minute, and we'll pick back up a video later. Okay, so last place that we left off, we had tried the salt and the um, dryer sheets, and those both ended up a total fail. And actually, the salt ended up messing with my iron um, after our video, and um, we kind of had to fiddle around with it to get it to start working again. Um, so I really would stay clear of the salt. So our next option is a Magic Clean eraser. It has been dipped in water and our iron is at the highest setting. Um, some of my CKC uh, co-workers seem to think that this is going to work the best. Um, so the iron is um, hottest setting and the sponge is already wet. So we are just going to run it over top of it and see so um, lots of elbow grease later I think our iron is finally cleaner than what it was um, I'm not 100% happy with the magic clean eraser technique um, but by far compared to the others it did the job. Um, so after running it over the magic eraser for a couple of minutes, I'm going to wipe it down real fast. It's um, still in its hottest setting. I'm going to wipe it down with just a wet paper towel real fast. And um, I went ahead and refilled the reservoir with um, distilled water. And I'm just going to steam a paper towel um, a couple of times. I just, with the cleaners that's in the magic eraser, I just want to go ahead and get all those holes steamed out and make sure that there's no magic eraser cleaning supplies left over anywhere in the iron. We would love to hear your guys' input. How do you guys clean your irons? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know and uh, maybe next time that my iron gets all gunky, I'll uh, give some of them a try. Thanks so much. Guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you love to subscribe.